the many people now, including me, so try to elucidate the origin of the culture and then also like uh, uh, why we maintain some cultural system from the historical point of view. And many people say like uh, China, Japan, or other countries, East Asian countries are more likely to be collectivistic. And uh, their sense of self is more likely to interdependence. So it's uh, connected with uh, other people. And also the holistic thinking style, this is more likely to not only pay attention to the one thing, rather maybe they pay attention to the change or pre predictive change or holism, like a uh, uh, good thing might you know, uh, leads to some negative thing, bad thing, and the bad thing, again, the leads the positive thing. It's just kind of the uh, circulation of the uh, in and the yang. And versus like uh, more likely to be the European culture or one of uh, some part of the European culture, I mean, and then also the American culture, it's more likely to be individualism there and the independence. Independence means they are more likely to be agency in the inside of their own interpersonal identity and also like analytic thinking styles, more likely focused. And um, some people say interdependence is very uh, rooted by the rice cropping cultural context. So because the rice cropping is maybe needs more likely to be, you know, collaboration and the social gathering and also the mobility is quite low. So they have to pay attention to the other people in the group for a long time, long, long time. But maybe the individualism or independence is connected to the more like a hunting gathering or sometimes harding as well. They can move and also like a, they can be more likely to be uh, believe their self images and then the strongness when they go to the hunt. So this kind of the historical way of the uh, socioeconomic system might affect their uh, our psychological tendency or macro cultural values in the current situation.